Hello again classes. Um, today's lesson is on condensing logarithmic functions. So we're going to use the same properties that you used yesterday when you were expanding those properties or expanding the logarithmic functions. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you'll notice, our first property is on is called the product property. Alright, and yesterday you worked at it, you used this and then you went up back over to that. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to actually have it already broken up, a log plus a log, and that's going to equal a combination. Okay, if you remember yesterday, when they were multiplied together, we split them up into addition, and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so the log base b of m plus log base b of n equals the log base b of m times n. All right, so let's look at this example down here. All right, log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of y. So we're going to keep that. First of all, we see that they're both log base 4, so I can go ahead and combine these together. All right, so I'm going to make it log base 4. And the rule says when you're adding those logs that you multiply that x and that y. So I'm just going to make it x times y. Pretty simple. All right, the second property is the quotient property. The quotient property says if I subtract where I have the same log, same base for the log, and I subtract that I just divide those, okay? So if I have log base 2 of 7 minus log base 2 of 3, since they're both log base 2, I can go ahead and condense these down and make it log base 2. And then since it's subtraction, I will divide these. Now, the one that's positive always goes in the top kind of like when we did exponents, the one that's negative is always going to go in the bottom of the fraction. All right. The last one is that power property. When it says if I have something multiplied by a log, that I take that something in it and I can move it and it actually becomes the exponent to that m. All right. So we move it up there as the exponent. So our example, 3, that's our multiple, so that's going to become our exponent of x. So I rewrite this as log base 4 of x now to the third power. Alright, so those are the, the rules and next we're going to work some examples using these rules. Alright, so our first example, you can follow along in your notes, uh, we have 2 log base 5 of 4 minus log base 5 10. Now since first thing is before I can start condensing I need to make sure that these have the same base, so they're both log base 5, so I am allowed to go ahead and start working it. Now you notice I have this 2 that I need to move to be the exponent for 4, and I don't have that same thing with this one, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to rewrite this first one as log base 5 of 4 to the second power, and then minus my log base 5 of 10. Okay. Now I can rewrite 4 to the second power as 16. 4 times 4 is 16. So I have log base 5 of 16 minus log base 5 of 10. Now since I have this subtraction in here, that means that, that I'm going to write my log base 5 and I'm going to start condensing this. Since it's subtraction, this the positive one, the first term, goes on the top, and the second one, since again, since it was subtraction, I'm going to have to do division. That 10 is going to go down on the bottom. So 16 over 10, and 16 over 10, let's go ahead and reduce it. Each of them can be divided by 2, so make log base 5 of 8 over 5. So there's our answer or our simplified condensed version for the first problem. Okay, Problem number 2. Let's do this in a different color. Notice I have log base A, log base A, and log base A. So I'm going to be able to condense these. All right. So let's take any coefficients and move those as exponents. So this 3 needs to move as an exponent for the 2. And that's the only one that has that coefficient. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this as log base a of 48 minus log base 
a of 2 to the third minus log base a of 5. Now 2 to the third, that can be rewritten as 8. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. Now the next thing is I have these subtractions. So anything that follows a subtraction is going to go on the bottom and anything that's positive is going to the top. So since they're all log base A, I'm going to write log base A. Now the positive is going to go on top. So this first one was positive. So I'm going to put that 48 in the numerator. And the second one is negative. So that 8 is going to go on the bottom. And then the last one's negative also. So I'm going to put that in the bottom also. So I'm going to put times 5. All right. Now 8 times 5 is 40. So that would be 48 over 40. And that can be reduced 24 over 20 or 12 over 10 or 6 over 5. It reduces to 6 over 5. So I'm going to rewrite my simplified version of this, my condensed, condensed version, as log base A of 6 over 5. And that's going to be my simplified version there. All right, now I've got example 3 and 4 up here. 3 is not going to take us a whole lot of time to do. Um, log base A, so I'm going to keep that. And then I have this coefficient out here I'm going to put as the exponent for the 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base A of 4 to the 1 half power. 1 half power is the same thing as taking the square root. If you don't understand this, you can always put in your calculator 4 to the 1 half power. But basically, this just gives you log base a of square root of 4, which is just 2. So there's our convinced version. And if that confuses you a little bit, just put it in the calculator. Put 4 to the 1 half power. All right? Um, example 4, log base 6, log base 6, log base 6. So I can condense these together. They have addition and subtraction. Before I do that, I'm going to take these coefficients. I'm going to move those as my exponents. Move this one as my exponent. The third one doesn't have one. Okay, So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 6 of 6 to the second power plus log base 6 of 9 to the 1 half power, which is the same thing as taking the square root, minus log base 6 of 12. Okay, Now, 6 squared and 9 to the 1 half, I can go ahead and simplify those and make that 6 squared is 36 and 9 to the 1 half power is 3. All right, so I have log base 6 of 36 plus log base 6 of 3 minus log base 6 of 12. Last thing is, I have my addition and subtraction. Anything that's added or positive is going to go in the numerator. Anything with a negative or subtraction is going to go in the denominator. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Log base 6, 36 goes on top, 3 goes on top, the multiplication, and then the 12 goes in the bottom. And when I do all this work, 36 times 3 and then divide by 12, that's just going to give me 9. So log base 6 of 9 is my simplified answer. Okay, 36 times 3, and then divide that answer by 12. Okay, our last two examples. Um, 6 log uh, x to the third plus 2 thirds log x to the sixth. Now remember, if there's no um, base for this, we just assume it's log base 10. Okay, all right, I'm going to start out by moving this 6 up as the exponent to this x to the third. All right, And if you remember, if I have something raised, a power raised to a power, I multiply those. So that gives me log of x to the 18th. All right, now let's do the second one. I'm going to move this 2 thirds to be the exponent of 6. So that's log of x to the 6th raised to the 2 thirds. When I do 6 times 2 thirds, I get 12 over 3, which is 4. Okay, so log 
of x to the fourth. Remember that was six times two thirds. So put that over one, I get 12 over three, which reduces to four. All right, now all I gotta do is write, rewrite this now, let's condense it together. Log, since it's plus, I'm gonna multiply these things. So it's gonna be x to the 18th times x to the fourth. Remember, when you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. So it's going to give me log x to the 18th plus 4 is 22. And there's my condensed version of this one. All right? I'm going to get you started on this last one. I'm going to let you do most of the work on your own on it, though. Okay? First thing is I have this 2 outside the parentheses. So I can distribute this in, or I could do the work on the inside first if that's what I wanted to do. But I'm just going to distribute this too. All right, so distribute it to both of them. So I have 2 log base 4, 7, plus 2 log base 4 of 3. Okay, now I'm going to take those 2 and put them as my exponents. And then after that, I'm going to um, simplify, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take just a moment, pause this, see if you can finish this one on your own. So go ahead and do that. All right, there you go. There's all the time you get. All right, so this will be log base 4 of 7 to the second, which is 49. And this is log base 4 of 3 to the second, or that's going to be 9. Since it's plus, I'm going to make a multiplication, so it would be log base 4 of 49 times 9, which is 441. And that is your condensed simplified version. All right, I uh, hope you understand this. Uh, it should have been a pretty good little review from yesterday's lesson. Uh, go ahead and uh, make sure you have all those notes completed. And when you get to class tomorrow, then we'll have some problems for you to work. Hope you have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.